use your God power to get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. In this next video example, we will see just how capable these little cells can be out on their own in the world. Video example, rat brain cells operate a flight simulator. What is this video about? This video example is about a scientist who obtained some living brain cells from a rat and put them in a solution in a petri dish. However, this was no ordinary petri dish because it had electrodes coming in from all directions that were connected to a special computer. These rat brain cells not only stayed alive, but they were able to operate a computerized flight simulator and fly a jet airplane. He had the computer set up in a way that he could detect the firings of the rat brain cells. This way, he had the input from the rat's brain, and at the same time, he sent back a signal to the petri dish when he wanted to communicate back to the brain cells. He set the computer up to emit a high frequency pulse to the brain cells when the plane was in trouble, and always in the same place for the same reason. These high frequency pulses were uncomfortable and the rat brain cells soon learned to respond in a certain way to cause the pulse to stop. Before long, the rat brain cells were flying the plane perfectly in the simulator. This showed the ability for a biological computer, rat brain cells, and a mechanical computer could interact and operate complex systems easily. What does this video example show and what does it mean? This video example shows that cells can live outside the body, that they are living, self-sustaining, independent, intelligent, and conscious beings. They are the subsystems of our bodies. Just as we are individual people with minds of our own, in the larger picture, we could be considered like the cells of a country that we live in and perpetuate. For best results, pause this video at this point here and watch the video example mentioned in the segment. The links are located in the book chapter and at the end of the book. If you are watching this online, you will find the link for this video example listed in the notes section. Then, after watching the associated video example, continue watching this video from here. Normal reality beliefs. Cells are not conscious and have no communication ability. Expanded reality beliefs. Cells are conscious, intelligent, and do have communication ability. All cells are individually conscious and intelligent, as the above video example shows us. They can and do take direction from us and act as they are supposed to in the larger systems, such as your organs and then your body as a whole. Just as Baxter's experiment showed us, cells are in constant communication with us. They are responding to our commands and our assertion of meanings. If we say and think that we are getting old, then our cells respond by acting more and more like we expect them to. When they form brand new cells, the new cells are made old looking and behaving because that is what we expect them to be. Ellen Langer showed us in her experiments that when we start thinking younger, our bodies begin producing new cells that are younger in appearance and vitality. My experiment on stage proved that people already have an image in their minds of what old age is and what it looks and acts like. We have linked our age to our birthdays for so long that we can't even imagine having a large number of birthdays and not being old as a result. If a simple experiment for seven days 
of altered thinking can not only stop the aging process, but in fact reverse it and cause people to begin getting younger, then imagining an image of how we will or should look at an old age certainly is what is making us old. Clearly, we already have the picture of old age in our minds, and clearly our bodies will match that age. Never has it been more clear than it is right now that we as humans, with our God power, to change the meanings in our lives, have the power to slow down aging or even stop it altogether. We have the ability to say, I don't have to age. It is not mandatory, nor is it necessary. If you can stop eating and drinking altogether for 30 years and still live, and since your cells are at your command, and since Ellen Langer proved that when you think you are younger, you start getting younger, then how could you still believe that aging is required? Once again, I think that the main reason we think this way is because we mistakenly look to the animal kingdom for evidence of nature's overall plan. However, the animal kingdom does not represent a true picture of nature's plan for us who have God power. If you were to take old dogs or any old animal and place them in the environment that they lived in as young pups with the toys and everything else like Ellen Langer did with the old men in her study, they wouldn't start getting younger. But we do. We see the environment from when we were young, and if we start to remember the feeling of being young again, we start getting young again. When we are imagining ourselves at the younger age, we are asserting meaning. That's real. That's reality. Our reality. While you will find highly specialized realities, such as bears that hibernate without drinking or eating, or lizards that can change color or regrow a tail, you won't find instances where any animals have changed their own specific reality by changing meanings from that established by their own species. Nowhere in the animal kingdom will you find examples of animals that haven't eaten or drank water in years and still live. You won't find any animals that can remain in a roaring fire without so much as a burned hair. You will only find examples of pre-established realities that define their species and their existence. Options. Now activating the next video, play options. One moment please. Click on the green arrow to start watching the next video. Or, click on the red arrow to start watching the prior video. Or, click on the tan arrow to go to the main course menu and guide. With links to all course chapters, excerpts, and special reports. Up next, special video options. Click on your choice of course videos, menus, and excerpts. Now switching to the special video options menu and activating the video selection buttons. Click on your selection number to start watching the video. Fifteen seconds till we switch to the next page with a free download information. Pause the video now if you need more time to review the available selections.
This is the end of this course video. Its video number is listed above. To watch the next video, simply click on the next video in number sequence. Thank you.